The Genetic Information Non-Discrimination Act of 2008 is an act of Congress in the United States designed to prohibit the use of genetic information in health insurance and employment. The act prohibits group health plans and health insurers from denying coverage to a healthy individual or charging that person higher premiums based solely on a genetic predisposition to developing a disease in the future. The legislation also bars employers from using individuals' genetic information when making hiring, firing, job placement, or promotion decisions. Senator Ted Kennedy called it the first major new civil rights bill of the new century. The Act contains amendments to the Employee Retirement Income Security Act of 1974 and the Internal Revenue Code of 1986. In 2008, on April 24, H.R. 493 passed the Senate 95-0. The bill was then sent back to the House of Representatives and passed 414-1 on May 1. The lone dissenter was Congressman Ron Paul. President George W. Bush signed the bill into law on May 21, 2008. Legislative history In the 104th Congress several related bills were introduced. The Genetic Privacy and Non-Discrimination Act of 1996, S. 1416, Senator Mark Hatfield and H.R. 2690, Representative Clifford Stearns The Genetic Fairness Act of 1996, S. 1600, Senator Dianne Feinstein The Genetic Information Non-Discrimination in Health Insurance Act of 1995, H.R. 2748, Representative Louise Slaughter and S. 1694, Senator Olympia Snow Genetic Confidentiality and Non-Discrimination Act of 1996, S. 1898, Senator Pete Dominici in 1997, the Coalition for Genetic Fairness was formed by several patient and civil rights groups to spearhead genetic non-discrimination legislation on Capitol Hill. The CGF became the primary non-governmental driver of federal genetic non-discrimination legislation. In 2003, Gina was introduced as H.R. 1910, by Representative Slaughter, DNY and as S-1053 by Senator Snow, Army. In 2005, it was proposed as H.R. 1227 by Representative Bigot, R.I.L., and as S-306 by Senator Snow, Army. The Genetic Information Non-Discrimination Act of 2007 was introduced into the United States House of Representatives as H.R. 493 by Representatives Slaughter, Bigot, Isu, and Walden. It passed the House by a 420-9-3 vote on April 25, 2007. The same bill was introduced into the United States Senate as S-358 by Senators Olympia Snow, Ted Kennedy, Mike Enzi, and Christopher Dodd. Ontario, 2008-04-24, the Senate approved the Bill 95-0, with five Senators not voting. It had been subject of a hole placed by Tom Coburn, M.D., Republican U.S. Senator from Oklahoma. The bill was then sent back to the House of Representatives and passed 414-16-1 on May 1, 2008. President George W. Bush signed the bill into law on May 21, 2008. The text of the final approved version of GINA is here. Arguments for, along with an overview of the topic, the NIH National Human Genome Research Institute states that NHGRI believes that legislation that gives comprehensive protection against all forms of genetic discrimination is necessary to ensure that biomedical research continues to advance. Similarly, it believes that such legislation is necessary so that patients are comfortable availing themselves to genetic diagnostic tests. This point of view thus regards GINA as important for the advancement of personalized medicine. The Coalition for Genetic Fairness presents some arguments for genetic non-discrimination. As of 2007, their argument makes the claim that because all humans have genetic anomalies, this would prevent them from accessing medication and health insurance. The Coalition also cites the potential for misuse of genetic information. The GINA legislation has historically received support from the majority of both Democrats and Republicans, as evidenced by the 420-3 vote in 2007 by the House. Arguments against, the National Association of Manufacturers, 
the National Retail Federation, the Society for Human Resource Management, the United States Chamber of Commerce, and other members of the Genetic Information Non-Discrimination in Employment Coalition say the proposed legislation is overly broad and are concerned the bills would do little to rectify inconsistent state laws and hence might increase frivolous litigation and or punitive damages as a result of ambiguous record-keeping and other technical requirements. In addition, they are concerned that it would force employers to offer health plan coverage of all treatments for genetically related conditions. Insurance industry representatives argued that they may need genetic information. Without it, more high-risk people would buy insurance, causing rate unfairness. While GINA has been cited as a strong step forward, some say that the legislation does not go far enough in enabling personal control over genetic testing results. The law does not cover life, disability, or long-term care insurance, which may cause some reluctance to get tested. Some legal scholars have called for the addition of a disparate impact theory of action to strengthen GINA as a law. See also, Employment Non-Discrimination Act, Genetic Discrimination, Genealogical DNA Test, GAT Hacker. References External links, full text of GINA in its final form from GovTrack, National Human Genome Research Institute, Coalition for Genetic Fairness, S358, Genetic Information Non-Discrimination Act of 2007, S-976, Genomics and Personalized Medicine Act of 2007, Your Gina Resource, Genetic Alliance, Genetic Discrimination Saves Lives, Editorial Arguing Against the Bill.